So, ito ang Kakila Sunrise. Yes, so, Sharon. Citrusy and... Uh, it's uh, orangey, tangy uh, flavor and uh, it has tequila and grenadine. Grenadine. Mango Collins is um, it has Sprite in it. It has a soda component. It has uh, it's rum base, and it has uh, mang mango juice in it also. Okay, so my first time. Yeah. My first time to try it ever. Yeah, Very ano. So sabi ko pa naman parang rainbow ano cocktail. colorful kasi rainbow cocktail siya. Yeah, yeah. And what's in it? That's the pride of uh, the pride of Bar on the Run. It's a rainbow cocktail inspired by the rainbow. <laughs> okay. The pride. So, parang signature drink, matang. Signature drink, uh, also. And pride of Bar on the Run signature drink. Cheers. Interesting. Nice. Uh oh. <laughs> Very refreshing, kasi it Very has refreshing pineapple. And uh. Distinct. Yes. You each element. Cheers. Cheers. I'm taking my blowjob shooters and I'm supposed to take it uh -huh. one shot, one time. All right. Here we go. Very good. Oh my <laughs> goodness, it's so good. <laughs> it is so good. Can you do it again? You gotta try it. You gotta yes, try yes. it. The best. Ayan. Thank you. Okay. Hello everybody, welcome back to Themes and Motives TV. Today we are going to be talking about the coolest and thinking ko. For me, ha, it's the coolest addition to any celebrations. Mapa wedding, mapa debut, mapa wedding anniversary, or even a corporate event. And I'm talking about the mobile bars and the coffee stations. Can you just imagine having your own customized bar or having your personalized coffee station and serving delicious drinks, not just for you, but for all of your guests. Grabe, napaka-lively talaga ng inyong celebration, no? It's something, um, something interactive for you and your guests. So, right now, we will be talking to a pro, okay? Pro siya ng mobile bar at coffee stations. We will sample some cocktails and signature drinks and share tips on how you can make your event stand out. So grab a drink and stay tuned. But before we dive in, remember to hit that subscription button and ring that bell so that you will never miss out on our contents. So tara na, umpisahan na natin ang ating interview with our mobile bar and coffee station pro. Hi everybody! I'm here today with uh, Ron Villanueva, who is the managing partner of Bar on the Run and Bloomingdale's Coffee. So, uh, we will find out more about their company. So, hello, Ron. Hi, Miss Sharon. Pleas uh, our pleasure to have you here. Can you tell us um, a little background about Bar on the Run and Bloomingdale's Coffee? Paano ba nabuo tong companies na to? Yeah. Um, I uh, spent uh, some of my time when I was still in sales. Uh, I went to the, U to the U.S. and attended some uh, functions there, uh, events, social events, and I noticed they all already have a mobile bar during mm -hmm. that time. So they, they've been doing uh, events in different hotels, and uh, there are uh, mobile bars, but not as fancy as the mobile bar bars here in the Philippines, no? But uh, surprisingly, they already have the concept there several years ahead of us. So it provided different options to their uh, to their guests um, and a certain level of flexibility. So I told myself, if uh, if ever I will do a business, uh, it will be something similar to that. It so happened that uh, uh, one of my sisters is uh, an HRM graduate, mm -hmm. and she opened up a concept of uh, having a mobile a mobile bar that caters to different events. So in 2008, uh, Bar on the Run was actually inspired by the song of Paul McCartney, uh, Band on the Run. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, where we got it, uh, uh, the name. And uh, I myself is a Beatle fan, so it uh, immediately catched up with my, you know, the ethos of uh, the branding. Yeah. No? So, so wait, this was in 2008? 2008. 
Oh, so yes. talaga, matagal so, na. Matagal but na. Officially, we launched it in 2009. 2009. Yeah. matagal na kayo in the market, yes. but um, ngayon ka lang nagpo-full blast. Yes, I, uh, I was uh, a marketing consultant for the past 12 years. Mm -hmm. That's uh, That has been my main job. And um, during that time, Bar on the Run was only a side hustle. Side, oh, side, side hustle. hustle. So not Yan really. Term yeah. na mga ano, no? Side hustle. <laughs> Sayang nga, eh. uh, we should have uh, taken advantage of the. No? So uh, you've been there, like you. You've been promoting a lot of brands in the events industry. We could have captured that earlier mm -hmm. until the pandemic came. So, lahat ng ano namin, lahat ng sinisimula namin, actually, in 2019, we were actually, ano ne, gearing ourselves to bigger things. Mm -hmm. So, we held, we held our first uh, ever bartending seminar, and we have invited a number of bartenders. Our goal is inclusivity. So, lahat ng gusto o kaya, na, ano, regardless of your race, uh, I mean, your religion, your orientation. Basta gusto mong maging bartender. bartender or and, social status for that yes. matter. Okay. So, we will invite you to come mm -hmm. over and so we, we will train and we will teach you how to become a good bartender. So, a lot of them, a lot of the youngsters before who just graduated uh, HRM um, were trained by us. So, our bartenders who, who, who got in as our early uh, team for since 2009, we're already in uh, fa um, all these prestigious cruise lines like prestigious hotels in Macau, in the US, in Singapore, Australia. So most of them, every time they they would come to visit the Philippines, tumatanggap parin sila ng ano ng uh, duty from us. Mm -hmm. So and these are ano these are. Bar on the Run trained yes, uh, bartenders. Nahanap yes. hana parin nila yung events na ano yan, sa weddings, sa debu. Okay, so you have these guys uh, doing work for you. Yes. And maganda no, because you train them, but at the same time, because of their international exposure, yes, yes. Uh, it gives uh, the business a new flavor. Yes, no? it keeps on raising the bar. No? Yeah. So uh, every time it's an accumulation, collaborative uh, accumulation of experiences from different bartenders. So we already have evolved from a uh, simple uh, setup. Mm -hmm. So we already have noticed that some of the new players now, which we are very inspired, we, we don't consider them a threat actually, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. in fact, they are helping the industry come together. So, what about the Bloomingdale's coffee? Yeah. Home? How that, did that come about? Yeah, Bloomingdale's, okay, very interesting question. Um, during the pandemic, uh, where we all got trapped inside our homes, gumana lahat ng imagination natin. Before, the Philippines is not a coffee country. Eh. We are an instant coffee country. But not until the pandemic, when uh, everybody was trapped inside their homes. So, eto na. Biglang people suddenly uh, became uh, interested with uh, latte art. And some of us who would be, for example, from Metro Manila, um, we would like to take our kids outside to see nature. So, kasi during that time, walang Airbnb, walang hotel, walang right, everything. Right. Oh. So, the only thing that we can do is to go outside and go camping. Yeah, take a drive. Take diba? a drive. Uh -huh. And here in Rizal, particularly here in the stretch of Marilake, biglang parang nagsulputang kabuti yung mga coffee shops. So you can you can see uh, the Filipinos are actually patronizing local beans from uh, Benguet, Sagada, um, Cavite, and Batangas. So those produ produ uh, top producing coffee producing uh, provinces, biglang nagkaroon ng, ano, ng jump yung sales nila. So because sulputan na yung mga uh, pop-up store, stores, mm -hmm. biglang may mga carts din, may mga kiosks sa mga different uh, locations, all of a sudden, they are selling brewed coffee. Brewed coffee, no more instant coffee. Yeah. Now, what we are bringing now 
through Bloomingdale's is the actual experience of being in a coffee shop. So this is not just a drip type coffee mm -hmm. service. We are uh, offering espresso blend, blended drinks. So we use espresso machines, we have grinders, we have different syrups that go uh, together with that. We use uh, Arabica beans mm -hmm. from, sourced from highlands of uh, Benguet. And uh, sometimes we also procure it from Italy, so we use only quality beans. So our, ano, our baristas are very trained um, and updated with the latest trend when it comes to uh, barista services and uh, coffee preparations. So we, we offer hot and iced. So the name Blue Dales uh, was inspired by this movie Serendipity. Okay, so it's uh -oh. a very it's one a, of my favorite uh, movies. Yes, uh -oh. feel good uh, uh -oh. love story. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So, mga, for, for those who are watching, if you're not familiar with it, look it up. Yeah, uh -oh. I, I don't think familiar pa among Gen Z's. Yes, yes, it's a very beautiful uh, rom com. No? Yeah, Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> yes, and John Kusa. Kusa, yeah, uh -oh. yeah. So, dun pala na inspire ang name. Yes, uh, because in New York there's a mall called Bloomingdale. And that's the where they met. Yes, where they Eba, met. Where yes. they met. Yeah. And then uh, serendipity is finding is uh, the quest for uh, a word that describes if you're looking for something, then suddenly a sudden twist of good faith came along your way. So that's serendipity. Grabe, ang lalim pala ng... <laughs> ang lalim <laughs> ng... <laughs> Oo, ang lalim ng development, yeah. oh, ng, ng, ng development ng Bloomingdale. So, yes. um, it's really parang something that really came up, born yeah. out of the um, restrictions of the pandemic, no? Yes, uh, yes. Oh, so, yun ang story ng, ng Bloomingdale's yeah. coffee. And because of that, you also became very creative in sourcing the materials, yes. no? locally and internationally. Internationally, yes. Uh -oh. So, ngayon, ito yung dalawang... Uh, uh, businesses that you offer in the yeah. wedding and events market. So, hindi na wedding, they boot, they they, they boot. And uh, social events, Christmas parties, corporate events, launch, no? Corporate, product launches. Yes. Uh, ano sa tingin mo? Uh, is it more mobile bar or more coffee? Um, surprisingly, it's uh, right now, it's the coffee cart business is catching up because of the fact that uh, during, uh, after every Ano kasi, ceremony, mm -hmm. there's a gap of one to two hours that people are made or your guests are made to wait for you because the couple is still like doing photo shoots and everything. <laughs> What's good about the coffee is it serves as a somatic marker. I say during the, that gap, um, our guests will be approaching the coffee cart and then they will be served with their favorite coffee at, right at the very exact moment. Mm -hmm. na, kailangan nila ng kape. Mm -hmm. So, they get to taste, smell the coffee, or the freshly brewed beans. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and uh, somehow, the effect of caffeine lightens the mood up. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then, uh, all the way to the mid part, which is uh, the pre-dinner part, meron na tayong i-open bar. So, the mobile bar kicks in mm -hmm. all the way to the tail end and up until the after party. So, nando doon na yung different cocktails that they, they will enjoy uh, while they are watching the event, the program. And the toast, the toasting, syempre every celebration has a moment to, uh, to toast. To toast, oh, oh, to, toast. to toast kayo. So, hindi pwedeng walang alak eh. Yes. Uh, we have now uh, assorted ano, ne, alcohol. Eh. So, mm -hmm. we have champagne. Uh, we'll be launching our uh, Bar on the Run uh, champagne uh, wall. So that will be another feature that will be coming up. It's a brand new concept mm -hmm. that we're bringing in. So wherein you will see a wall filled with uh, champagne glasses and quality champagne. Mm -hmm. we'll launch it at uh, the Expo, uh, the Themes and Motifs uh, Expo. On the 27 and 28. Exciting champagne yeah. wall! Wow. Champagne wall. So every time that uh, get newly arrived, newly arriving guests can just get the champagne flute from the wall and uh, take a sip. Wow! Uh, yeah. Excited, dong makita yan. That's for the opening, and then we also have craft beers. 
So Barwandaran is uh, the first to have a, a mobile bar that has a complementary, I mean a side-by-side -side offerings of craft beers. Craft beers. So we partnered with a local brewer who uh, has the flexibility to, uh, to be very creative with when it comes to craft beers and gags. And uh, it has CO2 components so that uh, and uh, also a cooling system so mm -hmm. that the beers are served fresh and uh, below cold. zero. Uh -oh, oh. Cold every time. Oh. Because they Very say, oh. I'm also not a bring, beer drinker, but they say, talagang dapat malamig na malamig, yes, di ba? Yes. Para ma-enjoy mo talaga yes. yung... Best served cold kasi uh -oh. beer. You taste oh. ng beer. So, you have all these offerings aside from your usual Aside life. from the cocktails. So, uh -oh. Barandaran has been known for its uh, 30 international cocktails. Uh, the 30 international cocktails, these are the cocktails that you usually find in five-star hotels and in cruise ships. So, you say international cocktails. So, you go to any... Siyempre, okay na, okay na uh, bar yes. or pub or hotel nga, as yeah. you said. Standard drinks to recognize yes. internationally. Yes. Okay. So it depends upon the skill of the bartender because uh, uh, bartending is a skill. So it has no proprietary, for example, my Singapore sling is the same as his Singapore sling. Iba. It would al always vary. The ingredients are there, but somehow, it be, uh, it's based on the talent of the bartender, eh, uh, which I can tweak it, like it add up a little of the liquor or maybe the alcohol. So, so para palang chef yan, no? Yes. Depende sino yung chef. Yes. Like the adobo can be interpreted in so many ways. Several it's the same ways. with... Yeah. Oh, that's something... Kasi iniisip ko parang... Ano lang siya, parang naka-formula and it's just yeah. a matter of mixing the formula. Hindi pala, depende rin sa bartender. Depende sa bartender. Kaya nga maraming nag a sa amin before, can you send us a uh, sample of your cocktails? So, while I say, I say yes usually, but mm -hmm. uh, kasi during the day, I cannot guarantee uh, kung sinong bartender ang ma-assign during that time. Kasi okay. iba-ibang bartenders different skills. My signature. My signature. Yeah. But uh, one thing we can assure you, uh, our procurement of our uh, supplies and ingredients are standard. Standards. Siyempre, we only source it out from reliable uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sources. Walang cut, hindi kayo nagka-cut corners dyan. Mm -hmm. no? Uh -oh. no cutting corners, yes. Uh -oh. So we, ano, we only supply quality goods and uh, freshly uh, curated uh, items from our years of experience in the industry. Kasi magkamali ka ng isa dyan which might result to food poisoning or so upset yeah. stomach. Oh, so, Medyo oh. sensitive ang, ang mixing of uh, spirits. Yes, so, yes. So, and the way the liquor, uh, liquors are being handled, we also train our bartenders to be responsible. To ensure that our bartenders are really trained to talk, to mm -hmm. communicate with the guests, I say that's the experience we're trying to bring into the events. Mm -hmm. eh. It's like bringing in the bar to the venue yeah, so that yeah. your guests will not be shepherd while it is good to watch what's going on on the program. Sideways, meron man, hindi mo may iwasan. A small talk, yeah. and then yan, uh -oh. and uh, they, they know the craft that uh, they've been doing. Um, so so we, could, we do it with continuous hiring of people. Hiring and training, I would say. Hiring suppose. and training. So, uh, just the same, uh, we don't compromise our quality by sinking our price. Mm -hmm. So, if we have this certain amount of uh, package that we're offering you, we will make it sure that you get the value for money out mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. So, marami time freebies, and we're starting to to uh, level up. So. Kasi alam natin ngayon, it's Instagram na worthy na dapat yes, natin yes. dinadala mo sa event. That's why we're bringing in mga freebies like selfie mirrors. We have a uh, unique looking uh, bar set up. So, ang ganda nga eh, no? Yeah. Inspired by the first uh, Ford model na car. It's the T, T model that uh, came out in 19, uh, 1908. So, it's since uh, our name is Bar on the Run, it keeps on running. So we, mm -hmm. we just thought that, uh, hey, why not come up with a car looking cart? Okay. So something like that. So even that, no? Even that, para I think, talagang pinag-isipan from the name, yes. 
to the look. So it's all tied in together. Yes. Is, is it the same thing for your coffee bar? Yes. Um, and even the uniqueness of your coffee? Um, ganun yes. Siya, yes. The same way you manage your yeah. mobile bar services. Yes. See, um, Bloomingdale's kasi is inspired by um, when you go to a wedding, everything is blooming. It's mm -hmm. like flowers that has came to bloom. Mm -hmm. no? And uh, also when you are in a debut mm -hmm. event, so that's the 18th birthday marks the blooming of a young lady. For your mobile bar, how many events can you cater to um, um, in one day? Do you do multiple bookings? Yeah, we can do multiple bookings. For now, to ensure that uh, quality bookings uh, are being uh, fulfilled, no? we, we keep it at three events per day. Uh, so you do three? Yeah, for, for the mobile three. bar, for the coffee bar? Uh, for the coffee bar, uh, we can do two simultaneous events in a day. Mm -hmm. Paano yung pagdag, ano, nag-package na, oh, we want to get your coffee? Kasi kanina napagagandang insight yung binigay mo. Actually, it's it's a tip, no, na kung napansin nyo, tip na yon. Now, you can actually get both because it really enhances your event. So, you can start off with the coffee bar. Yes. And then halfway through your reception, open the mobile bar. Yes, yes, yes. And then, pwede pa nga ulit si... Uh, sa huli. Sa huli, di ba? Oh. Kung na ulit si coffee bar yes, yes. for your... Uh, ano to? Nightcap, di ba? Yes, diba? nightcap. So, paano pag sabay and you have all three, can you still stretch it to one more coffee bar? Um, you mean uh, there are two events that... Uh, or three events three that would we'll book both. Um, Okay. Since I mentioned that our... Uh, our business model is uh, espresso is is based on uh, relies heavily on the use of uh, espresso machines. So there's a waiting time involved. Not unlike those who caterers who just like use the drip type mm -hmm. uh, system of uh, coffee, they're a, a bit faster. Yeah. For our in our case, we do stubs, and uh, there's a um, waiting time involved because the coffee is being prepared. Mm -hmm. So it's like yeah, going fresh. into a coffee shop. Yeah, it's like going uh -huh. to the coffee shop. And uh, the system that uh, we employ is the same as the, that of the coffee shops. So there's a waiting time. But having said that, if you have a group of uh, 100 guests, we need a couple, uh, uh, for example, uh, one, one espresso machine for every 100 guests. So if we go beyond that, then uh, we will already send another setup. Of with complete uh, grinders and uh, espresso machines, so that so it's uh, one one hole like that again. Yes, uh, another another uh, unit. Another so that unit. ano kasi we don't want uh, our guests to wait in line for so long. Uh, so possible pala if it's a 200 guest list, mm -hmm. I want to service all 200. Dalawang units agad ang yes. naka deploy. Dalawang so units agad uh, ang naka deploy. So for that day we can only serve one event because uh -huh. all all our staff are or uh -huh. equipment. So, ready there. But so, ito rin yung commitment niyo to, to quality pa for, Yes. For now, that's our commitment to quality. Not to overbook and uh, not to, uh, you know, to be out of focus because we want to deliver our 100% to the client. Kanina, Ron, you mentioned na, well, you kept on saying na there are a lot of uh, players no, in the market. Yes. Maraming mobile bars, and you don't see them as competition. No, we don't see them uh, as threat. But, siyempre, ito tatanungin sa'yo palagi, like, what makes you different? Why will I not book si ABC, who's mm -hmm. beside you? What makes Bar on the Run unique? Okay, so, first, uh, we already have that, um, what makes us unique is, um, from the 30 cocktails that we have, we have identified, and we made some modifications. That is trademark, or I mean, uh, that is only uh, uh, proprietary to Baron Daran. So we already have that secret recipe mm -hmm. that we do that only that they can only find on Baron Daran. It's part of our premium package. So we have seven different flavors there mm -hmm. that we offer uh, as part of our premium package. And that's unique to you. That's unique they will to us. not find it elsewhere. Yes. And also, uh, our mobile bars are uh, pretty much rustic looking, which is almost 80% of the weddings we have. Our, the theme is rustic. Or outdoors. Is, huh? Outdoors, yes. Bohemian, ganyan. So for some reasons, uh, weddings, 
wedding planners, the couples are inclined to choosing uh, rustic and uh, yung mga bohemian looking uh, setups. Very seldom naman yung very classic naman na ano. Although mm -hmm. we also have that, yung puro uh -huh. white naman. White. Are you also, uh -huh. kunyari magre-request na, yes. mine is really more contemporary. Can you yes. do a different setup? We have even mobile bar. So bags, meron, right? meron. Okay, so talagang pwede rin naman na hindi ka limited to an outer look or rustic. Yes. We have several, ano, we, we keep on designing different uh, looks that, ano, kasi, for example, the planning, ano kasi, the planning stage kasi takes some mga 12 months, 12 months before on the average. Eh. So, if the client tells us, we want a mobile bar that looks like this, can you come up with that? So, we work with them. So, siyempre, we, pagka talagang, maganda yung idea, we develop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We keep on creating new, new looks for our mobile bar. Ano ba ang booking process? How soon mm -hmm. should the couples book? Okay. Given na tatlo lang, ang, oh. <laughs> tatlo lang in a day ang ginagawa mo. And for your coffee, uh, for your for Bloomingdale's, dalawa, no? At yes. most. So, how soon should they book? Okay. Um, yung sinabi ko na three times uh, three events in a day, uh, we can go beyond that naman. Kaya lang, uh, in the future, uh, kasi kaya namin siguro in the future. Uh, right now, as we speak, we have five to seven mobile bars that we can deploy. Um, it's just that uh, our people, we can select din naman. So, mm -hmm. kailan, Para quality uh, pa rin. Quality yeah. people. So, we keep it, keep it at a low of three. But, uh, to be safe, um, to answer your question on how early should couples be booking, so ideal sana is more than six months. More than six months. But we can, ano naman, kahit na... Adjust. Kahit adjust, na. Uh, Ron, next week, next maybe week, kaya, kaya, naman. Oh, oh. kaya naman. Pero siguro for those who'd like to ha who have concept, yung may concept na yes. can we tweak a little bit yung itsura ng bar, yung ganun, mm -hmm. it has to be at least six months. Kahit ma, ano naman, siguro a month before, uh -oh. just give us a month before. But generally speaking kasi, uh, wedding planning is uh, six months on the other age. Uh, other other uh, couples nga, nasusurprise kami kasi, ano pe, two years ahead eh. Kung mag, yeah. uh, ano. I think it's back now. Nung uh -huh. pandemic, parang ang bilis. Pero ngayon, may mga two years in the making na wedding na. Okay. So, Ron, malaki ba talaga ang impact ng mobile bar? I fit to an event. How does that okay. enhance the event? Okay. So, the mobile bar, uh, including the coffee cart, and uh, also we have a brand new business unit, the fragrance bar, which offers uh, perfumes and scented candles. Um, meron silang common denominator during the event. And uh, this is be them being a somatic marker. Uh, when we say somatic marker, oh, it's, malalim yan, oh, somatic marker. Ano it's a marketing term that we use to... It's something that uh, involves our senses. So when we smell something, or when we taste something, when we hear something, uh, sometimes it 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 uh, serves as an anchor, uh, a core memory. Baga it helps build a core memory at the inner recesses of your brain. And uh, whenever you get introduced to that again sometime in the future, it helps you easily recall that event, remember that event. For example, last night, hindi ko alam kung anong kinain ko. Gabi lang yun, mm -hmm. nakalimutan ko na. But I definitely would remember ano yung kinakain ko during the 9-11 when I saw it in the news. Yes. Uh -huh. so I was eating lechon. Nung 9-11, natatandaan ko yun because complimentary na naalala ko because of that very very event that oh, I saw in the, no, no? the in, impactful. Oh. So naalala ko, I was eating that kind of food during that time. But uh, so those things, when you have a mobile bar that's set up in your event, and uh, your guest, ay, nasa ano siya, nasa cruise line siya. Ay, ganito yung naalala ko tuloy yung wedding ni, ni Miss Sharon. Uh, we, we tried that drink. Mm -hmm. Ano ba yun? Talagang nalasing ako doon. So those things. Uy, at, for example, nasa coffee shop ka. Naalala ko yung, ano, yung coffee ni, ni Sharon during the event. 
Ito yun eh, ito yun eh. Ito yung Spanish latte na yun. Mm -hmm. So it becomes an interactive experience for your guests, no? Hindi Correct. lang parang, before kasi parang punta ko ng wedding, upo ka, tinan ka oh. ng program, o toast, okay, kung anong meron toast, tapos ubi na. Yes, yes. No? But now you see people mingling, hanging out at the bar, yes. or sipping coffee by the yeah, yeah, yeah. coffee bar. And uh, going back to your question again, that uh, what makes us different, we do certain levels of customizations. Like we can change the name of the cocktail to a significant event on the couple's life. So, for example, uh, the name of the place where they met each other. Pwede. Pwede natin. Uh, for example, or, we can... Or can I like, Ron, I, can you come up with a one-time <laughs> drink na parang sa amin lang? Yes, yes. Pwede yon. Yes. Uh -oh. There was this one company who had a lo product launching in Boracay mm -hmm. and they requested us to um, uh, come up with a glow-in-the-dark cocktail. So we did uh, uh, our research kung anong ingredient that will make it uh, glow in mm -hmm. the dark. So we brought it to the island, mm -hmm. Boracay, and there is about 500 employees of that company and then we set up the hotel, the ballroom, in such a way that uh, when the lights are off, all the cocktails will, will glow. At the glow in the dark. Now. Yes, it, it, kasi ang ano nila, nuclear meltdown. Uh -oh. So. Grabe naman, talagang uh -oh. nagagawa niyo. Ako, yeah. I was just thinking, like, <laughs> um, for example, tequila. Tequila was, you know, during our dating time. Yeah. May presence ng tequila sa amin, eh. Uh -oh. So parang yun, parang, Oron, can you do something with the tequila and come up with a drink? Just for our wedding. Pero ito grabe. Uh -huh. Hindi ko na expect na pag glow kay. Uh -huh. <laughs> glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. So, uh -huh. kasi wow. during the ceremonial toast, and that company is very well known for doing such rituals. Mm -hmm. uh, during uh, their uh, battle cry, mm -hmm. they would uh, do the toast, and uh, all the drinks. All you can see in that dark room are the wow. That the was wine glasses. Siguro that was a raised. sight to see talaga, yes, no? Yes. Yes. Uh, it was. Uh, I, I was there during that time. Um, it was a very exciting moment for Bar on the Run. We also did uh, cruise ships. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, yacht uh, setups. Yeah. Like we have a mobile bar set up in a yacht for a Valentine's cruise along Manila Bay. So those things we already. You can did. do that. Oh, oh. Ayat, if you're watching right now, you are getting ideas. So ngayon palang before you book Bar on the Run, isipin yun na what types of drinks or yung challenge na pwede ninyong iba to sa kanila. Yes. Um, and, you know, watch them. Actually, taste. <laughs> taste bar on the run and see how it matches your, how it exceeds your expectations. In the yes. future, what can couples expect from you guys? Uh, or in the immediate future, like, do you have any activity that they can look forward to? Mm -hmm. um, and of course, in the next coming years, what can we expect from bar on the run and living girls coffee? Yes. Um, we want to institutionalize the, the industry of events, uh, serving beverages in, in the events industry. Mm -hmm. So we will be here not just to provide uh, um, cocktails during events, but as well as to train. Mm -hmm. Train people on uh, especially uh, uh, fresh graduates or even those, those uh, um, people who are who, who did not have the privilege to go to college, mm -hmm. for example, high school graduate, mm -hmm. we can still train them and give them a career opportunity. And pwede rin, uh -huh. ano, no? Pwede rin siguro kahit nag midlife crisis at gusto mag-career <laughs> shift, <laughs> yes, tatanggapin yes. mo pa rin. Well, uh, <laughs> for example, yung coffee, ano kasi, yung barista craft is something na mm -hmm. uh, for, ano yan eh, it's, uh, it tra transcends different ages. Eh. It, it, it's, it cuts mm. across all ages. Basta mm. meron kang passion on the flavor mm -hmm. and the art of, for example, yung latte art and how, how you do things to come up with the perfect cup of coffee. So, doesn't if you go, matter. Oh, no, doesn't if matter. you go all do sa Instagram and uh -huh. sa Pinterest, makikita mo, ang daming ideas dun eh. Mm -hmm. So, it somehow is attuned with our artistic self. Okay, so, so wait, let me cut you there, ha? Huh? So you're saying, you know, uh, not just the events business, but you're looking forward to train yes. uh, people so that they can get into the business. 
So are you saying that the mobile bars and the coffee stations are here to say it's not just a here and now trend tapos yes. two years from now iba na naman? You think it's going to be part of yeah. the events industry already? Yes, because it keeps on getting better naman. Mm -hmm. um, everybody has a birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, that's for one. Everybody falls in love and get married at some point in their lives. Uh -oh. uh, they celebrate 18 birthdays. Uh, they have companies who do who does Christmas parties mm -hmm. and everything. So there is a, such a big market for events, mm -hmm. for for beverage and uh, mm -hmm. uh, alcohol and. Uh, oh, so hindi lang siya ngayon, di ba? Hindi lang siya uso ngayon. Yes. It's just gonna get better in the future. Yes, it's Bigla ako nang isip ngayon. Paano kung yari mga proms? No? Oh. Pwede rin kayo, but. Of course, they will say, oh, mga minor yan. Yes. Can you come up with non-alcoholic beverages? Yes. Uh, part of our classic package is yung, ano namin, yung classic uh, mocktails. Mocktails are actually cocktails without the alcohol. Without or the sometimes spirit, it's oh. watered down to a level that will not intoxicate or not. So, uh, meron, 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 meron for the younger generation. Yes the younger generation because not everybody is particularly in their views. Hindi naman lahat 18 years old. So, true, it's, true. there's yeah, a big younger. chance that 50% of the crowd are minors. Mm -hmm. Kasi may mga cousin, younger cousin. Yes. Okay. Mga classmates, hindi naman sila sabay-sabay yes. lagi 18. Eh. So, you have that. You uh -huh. have that also as part of your selection. Yeah. So, talaga nag-cater ka to a broad market. Yes. Huh? For, ano naman, for the immediate future, syempre, di ba, self-serving ako <laughs> for Wedding Expo Philippines. When they go to Wedding Expo Philippines, what can they expect from Bar on the Run and Bloomingdale's Coffee? Yes. Okay, so because we would like to align the, our value offerings, uh, the way uh, themes and motifs, because by the names, what are your, what, what is your theme? What is the motif of your wedding? So we would like to align well, it. Touch so, naman ako. Okay. <laughs> so our value offering should be in line with the branding of the organizer. So we're planning to really uh, come up with a unique setup. No? So particularly our vintage cart will be there and uh, offering the premium packages. Like I said, we have seven uh, di different flavors. That uh, Seven of the best flavors of Bar on the Run will be featured there. Uh, we will be launching our, uh, our uh, uh, champagne wall and also a wider range or uh, more more choices and options for the craft beers. So that's for Bar on the Run. So for Bloomingdale's, we will be um, coming up with special discounts and uh, a package that will be uh, uh, more flexible for different groups, like uh, for smaller group, groups mm -hmm. of 50 all the way to 500. Mm -hmm. so, so depend, eh? depend on what they will uh, go. And this is this will only be available during Wedding Expo Philippines. Yes, uh, it's a unique promo that we are uh, planning to uh, launch. Please invite them to come and see at the Wedding Expo Philippines. And of course, how can they get in touch with you? Kasi Hello, soon to weds and uh, debutants. We'd like to invite you to the Wedding Expo Philippines by Themes and Motifs on September 28 to 29, 2024, at the SMX Convention Center. Uh, Bar on the Run, Bloomingdale's Coffee Company will uh, will be there uh, to uh, to give you uh, discounts and freebies for the two-day event. You may uh, contact us at 0917-870-2413. Follow us on Facebook at Bar on the Run and uh, on Instagram at uh, Bar on the Run PH. Thank you. See you there.